welcome to another episode of Pam Syme Blog. I'm your host, Pam, and today we're delving into a topic that has become increasingly prevalent in the digital age, internet stalking and bullying. Join us as we explore the dark corners of online behavior, the legal implications, and what happens when individuals are prosecuted. Cyberbullying Laws Cyberbullying laws are designed to address harassment, threats, and intimidation that occur online. They often cover a broad range of behaviors, including posting harmful or humiliating content, spreading rumors, and impersonating others with the intent to cause harm. Anti-stalking laws. Traditional anti-stalking laws have been extended to cover online spaces, recognizing that stalking behavior can occur virtually. These laws define stalking as a pattern of unwanted and harassing behavior that causes fear or distress in the victim. They often include provisions for restraining orders and criminal penalties for offenders. Communication and privacy laws. Communication and privacy laws play a crucial role in addressing online harassment. Laws related to harassment via electronic communication cover a wide range of behaviors, from sending threatening emails to repeatedly contacting someone after being asked to stop. Privacy laws may come into play when personal information is shared without consent, such as posting private photos or videos online. Revenge porn legislation. Revenge porn legislation specifically targets the non-consensual sharing of intimate images or videos online. These laws aim to protect individuals from having their privacy violated and their intimate images distributed without their consent. Penalties for revenge porn can include fines and imprisonment, depending on the jurisdiction. Jurisdiction challenges. One of the significant challenges in prosecuting internet stalking and harassment is determining jurisdiction, especially when offenses occur across international borders. Jurisdictional issues can complicate investigations and prosecutions, as different countries may have varying laws and legal procedures. Reporting Mechanisms Many online platforms have reporting mechanisms in place to address harassment and abuse. These mechanisms allow users to report harmful content, block abusive users, and seek assistance from platform moderators. Understanding how to use reporting mechanisms effectively empowers users to take action against online harassment. Evolving Legislation Legislation surrounding internet stalking and harassment is constantly evolving to keep pace with the changing digital landscape. Lawmakers are continuously updating laws to address emerging threats, such as deepfake technology and online manipulation tactics. Staying informed about these legislative changes is crucial for effectively combating online harassment. By understanding the laws and regulations that govern internet stalking and harassment, individuals can better protect themselves and others from online harm. Evidence required in prosecution of online stalking and harassment. Evidence plays a crucial role in the prosecution of online stalking and harassment. Here's an overview of the types of evidence that are typically required. Communication records. Any communication exchanged between the victim and the perpetrator can serve as evidence. This includes emails, text messages, social media posts, and chat transcripts. Screenshots or saved copies of these communications are often submitted as evidence. Witness testimony. Testimony from witnesses who observe the harassment or stalking behavior can strengthen the case. Witnesses may include friends, family members, or colleagues who were aware of the situation and can provide first-hand accounts of what occurred. Documentation of harassment. Victims are often encouraged to keep detailed records of the harassment they experience. This may include logging dates, times, and descriptions of harassing incidents, as well as any actions taken to block or stop the harassment. Digital footprint analysis. Digital forensics experts may analyze the perpetrator's digital footprint to gather evidence. This could involve examining IP addresses, tracking online activities, and retrieving deleted messages or posts. Expert testimony. Expert witnesses, such as psychologists or cybercrime specialists, may provide testimony regarding the impact of the harassment on the victim's mental health and well-being, as well as the perpetrator's behavior patterns. Physical evidence. In cases involving threats of violence or physical harm, physical evidence such as weapons, surveillance devices, or other tangible objects may be collected and submitted as evidence. Relevant documentation. Any relevant documentation, such as restraining orders, medical records documenting psychological distress, or previous complaints filed against the perpetrator, may also be submitted as evidence. Social media and online platform records. Records from social media platforms, online forums, or other websites where the harassment occurred can provide valuable evidence. This may include user profiles, activity logs, and moderation reports. Character evidence. In some cases, evidence related to the character of the perpetrator or the victim may be admissible. 
This could include prior convictions, behavior patterns, or reputation in the community. Overall, a comprehensive collection of evidence is essential for building a strong case against perpetrators of online stalking and harassment. Victims are encouraged to document incidents, preserve communication records, and seek assistance from law enforcement and legal professionals to ensure that perpetrators are held accountable for their actions. What is doxing and legality of it? Doxing, also spelled doxing, is the act of researching and publicly disclosing private or identifying information about an individual or organization without their consent. This information can include personal details such as full names, addresses, phone numbers, email addresses, social security numbers, and other sensitive data. Doxing is typically carried out with malicious intent, often as a form of harassment, intimidation, or retaliation. The legality of doxing varies depending on the jurisdiction and the specific circumstances of the case. In many places, doxing can be considered a violation of privacy laws, harassment laws, or cybercrime laws. Here are some factors that may affect the legality of doxing. Privacy laws. Many countries have laws that protect individuals' privacy rights and prohibit the unauthorized disclosure of personal information. Doxing may violate these laws if it involves the unauthorized disclosure of private or sensitive information. Harassment laws. Doxing can also be considered a form of harassment, especially if it is done with the intent to harm, intimidate, or threaten the victim. Harassment laws may prohibit the intentional and repeated targeting of individuals with harmful or offensive behavior. Cybercrime laws. In some jurisdictions, doxing may be classified as a cybercrime, particularly if it involves the unauthorized access of computer systems or the dissemination of false information with the intent to cause harm. Freedom of speech. In countries with strong protections for freedom of speech, such as the United States, the legality of doxing may be more complex. While freedom of speech allows individuals to express their opinions and share information, it does not protect speech that causes harm or violates the rights of others. Civil remedies. Even if doxing is not considered a criminal offense, victims may have legal recourse through civil lawsuits. They may be able to seek damages for invasion of privacy, emotional distress, defamation, or other harms caused by the doxing. Overall, while doxing may not always be explicitly illegal, it can have serious legal consequences depending on the circumstances. Individuals should be aware of the potential legal risks associated with doxing and refrain from engaging in this harmful behavior. Victims of doxing should seek legal advice and consider reporting the incident to law enforcement authorities. Thank you for tuning into Pamsime Vlog. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on navigating the digital world safely. Remember, awareness and vigilance are key in combating online stalking and harassment. Stay safe out there, and until next time, take care.